Today, we have a different take on a Yu-Gi-Oh! challenge. Yeah, we were thinking, what can we do to make some retro old school Yu-Gi-Oh! duels a little bit more exciting? And so we thought of the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! video games. Games like Dark Duel Stories and Forbidden Memories. And in these games, monsters don't just have types and attributes, they have alignments. There are 11 alignments in old Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadow, Light, Fiend, Dream, Water, Fire, Forest, Wind, Earth, Thunder, and Divine. Each alignment has a strength and weakness. Shadow beats Light, Light beats Fiend, Fiend beats Dream, and Dream beats Shadow. Also, water beats fire, fire beats forest, forest beats wind, wind beats earth, earth beats thunder, and thunder beats water. They work in two cycles, except for divine, which has no strengths but also no weaknesses. Oftentimes, you can just look at a card and guess its alignment, like man or bug being a forest monster. But other times, it's based more on the lore of the monster, like how fire grass is an earth plant but its alignment is fire. So the way this works is, if two monsters are battling and one monster's alignment beats another, it'll always destroy it automatically in battle. They do not apply damage calculation. This makes even the weakest monsters in the game potentially deadly against some of the strongest ones. And so for this video, we decided to use the Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon. It's got all of those classic Yu-Gi-Oh! video game cards. So we're gonna open up this box split the packs down the middle, and build Yu-Gi-Oh decks, but we'll be dueling with the classic video game rules. There are also two extra rules. Just like with the old school Yu-Gi-Oh video games, you can conduct a fusion summon without using polymerization. And because in those old games, ritual monsters weren't in the main deck, they won't be for us either. Yeah, you'll just play the ritual spell and you can use it and then summon the monster straight from your extra deck. Sure, why not? Anyway guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like. Leave a comment on how do you think this is gonna turn out. And if this video is successful, then maybe we can do this again with a few other old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs as well. And without further ado, let the duels begin. All right guys, let's open up this Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon and see what cards we get. I'm gonna take the left half of the box and leave Paul with the right. Remember guys, these cards don't just have attributes and types, they have alignments. So the first card is Monster Egg. Now I'm just gonna double check its alignment. I believe this is an Earth Monster. I mean, it says Earth in the attribute, but its alignment is actually also Earth. Okay, all right. Terra the Terrible. Despite it being a dark monster, this is a fiend alignment. Mizai, Misai Ruzame, it actually has the water attribute and it's a uh, water alignment. Laser Cannon Armor. So this can equip to any insect monster, and they, these cards still do have their types, so laser cannon armor can equip to any insect monster. Dragon Capture Jar. Uh, not sure how many dragons there are in this set, but oh! Ultra Rare Monster Reborn. So with this, I can call, get to any alignment I need, depending on the situation. Tripwire Beast, I want, I think this one's a Thunder? Yes. And Skull Redbird, you could probably assume it is a Wind alignment. All right, Monster Reborn, it's a good start. So some things you can kind of look at them and guess their alignments. Others are more surprising. Like Metal Dragon, I actually have no clue what its alignment is because R Machine is not an alignment. It is a fire alignment, despite it being a Machine Wind Monster. But remember guys, with fusions, we aren't using polymerization. If you have the fusion materials in hand or on field, you can fuse. Oh. Speaking of fusions, Flame Swordsman. And you can guess it's a, it's a fire, right guys? Who, who would have thought, right? Oh, and one of his, uh, his fusion materials, Flame Manipulator. Urubi, Urubi is Earth. I do remember uh, adding Urubi to my list. So Mystical Sheep number two is a dream monster. It's one of like very few of them. So this is actually a great monster to have despite it having very weak stats. Two pronged attack. Um, at this point, this is about as good as power movers you're gonna get. Secret Rare, Gaia the Dragon Champion. This is really cool, though I highly doubt I'm gonna pull a Gaia the Fierce Knight and a Curse of Dragon. That just feels unlikely. I feel like I have the better half of the box so far. I got a Secret, a Super, and an Ultra. Hane Hane, or Hane Hane as I grew up calling him. A very solid monster. Skull Red Bird. Wow, two Skull Red Birds, that's pretty good. Like, if we weren't playing with alignments, 
having multiple skull red birds will give me a huge advantage witty phantom i believe witty phantom is a shadow monster i don't know why they're not called dark but the at least in at least in the sacred cards darks are called shadow flower wolf takes a dark world thorns and a silver fang i actually pulled both of those so i actually might use flower wolf <laughs> dark fire dragon takes fire grass and petite dragon I don't think I've pulled Petite Dragon, so I can't really make this yet. Beaver Warrior. Giant Soldier of Stone, one of your better normal summons. Uh, oh, super rare. Celtic Guardian. Masaki, the legendary Swordsman. This, I think, is the other dream monster in this set. Let me double check. Yeah, so this is the only other dream monster in this set. I'm really glad to have seen both of them. Last pack, come on. Where's my giant normal summon? Mystical Sheep number two, a good dream monster. And Reaper of the Cards. My, my biggest pulls here are Flame Swordsman, Monster Reborn, Guy of the Dragon Champion, and Celtic Guardian. I at least can make the Flame Swordsman. The guy looks nice, I guess. Well, time to start deck building. All right, guys, it's my turn to open 12 packs of Legend of Blue Eyes. This somehow feels familiar, though I can't quite put my finger on why. First card we got is Sparks. I'm sure this 200 points of damage will be plenty helpful in the upcoming duel. Also, Frenzied Panda, okay. So this is apparently an Earth Beast monster, but uh, according to our alignment chart, this is actually a forest monster. Next card is Misai Ruzame, Dragonus the Wicked Knight. Just a reminder, we are able to easily summon fusion monsters as long as we have the material, in this case, Armail and One-Eyed Shield Dragon, so. Whoa, uh, ultra rare, uh, hmm left arm of the forbidden one so i don't know how useful an exodia piece is going to actually be in this duel do the exodia pieces have alignments exodia pieces are shadow monsters which means that they can actually still be useful in battle even though they're weak now that said that it's still 200 attack and 300 defense but you know, we'll see it. It might come up. Dark Fire Dragon. This takes Fire Grass and Petite Dragon. Petite Dragon. Hey, that's one part of my uh, Dark Fire Dragon. Hane Hane. Ooh, Super Rare Man Eater Bug. This will be very handy, actually. Really good flip effect monster. Giant Soldier of Stone. One of the better cards in this set, actually. Nemuriko. Two-pronged attack, one of the better removal, actually really the only forms of removal in these early Yu-Gi-Oh days. Ooh, super rare mystical elf. Awesome. So this thing's got 2,000 defense. Remove trap. I wonder what it does. Hmm. Ooh, another 2,000 defense monster in Aquamador. I'm going to have a very defensively powerful deck, if nothing else. All right, final pack in honor of Larry. We're going to give it a little slap on the wrist. And Spirit of the Harp. Oh, just a rare. Cool. So those are my packs. I only pulled three foils, and only two of them are particularly useful. But I do think the Man Eater Bug will come in clutch, along with some of my high defense monsters. So this should be a pretty fun one. All right, folks, we have our decks right here. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> I don't know what we're in for here. I We've got the monsters alignments pulled up over to the side so we can quickly reference them. We'll also have them appear on screen so that you guys can know, and there's a link. So hopefully this can be somewhat followable. Though I'm very certain one of us is going to make a mistake and forget our, align our alignment or the alignment relation. And High roll. Nine. Nine. 11. 11. All, All right. right. Your pick, Duelist. All okay. right, I'll start. I'll start. Just so I can get my extra card. Draw for turn. I'm going to set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. Normal summon my Dark World Thorns. Ooh. It is a fiend. I'm going to attack your face down monster. You hit Turtle Tiger with 1,500 defense. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I'm taking 300. That's right. What alignment is he? Water. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I'll tribute my Turtle Tiger for Spike Seedra. Oh, okay, he's Thunder, right? Yes. Spike Seedra attack Dark World Thorns. I take 400 damage. Yeah, you're in a hole now, Paul. Yeah, I'm down 700. I feel like I'm playing Dark Duel Stories. <laughs> I'll end my turn. I will draw. We'll set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw for time. Normal summon Hitatsumi Giant. Oh. So, yeah, it's a Beast Warrior Earth. But its alignment is actually Fiend. Spike Seedra attack your face now. You attacked Green Phantom King at a 1,600 ah. defense points. Green Phantom King, by the way, is a forest monster. I'll end my turn. I draw for turn. Normal summon my Taihon. It's a wind. Taihon attack a Totsumi Giant. Interesting. 
All right, we'll both. Since they both have twelve hundred, they'll both be destroyed, and it's back to you, Duelist. All right, draw for turn. I will set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'll normal summon Urabi. It's an Earth monster. Urabi's gonna attack Spike Cedra. Even though it has less attack points, because it's an Earth monster, it will automatically destroy the Thunder type. Spike Cedra. Goodbye, Cedra. It's back to you, Duelist. Draw for turn. Oh, so yeah. I did figure that you would eventually get an Earth monster to out my Thunder monster. Luckily, I did prepare a Wind monster. Tyhone. Tyhone attack your Irby. And then I'll end my turn. Drawing for mine. 1,600 defense is a real amount of defense in this format. So forest beats that, right? Uh, wind, yes, forest beats wind. Forest beats wind, you say. So well, thankfully, sure. Green Phantom King is a forest monster. What if I told you I had another? Oh, no. Well, I'd be lying. But <laughs> um, I'll just set this monster face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. My Green Phantom King can destroy your Tyhone anytime I want, and your Tyhone couldn't destroy it even if it was strong enough to. That's a fact. I will normal summon my forest, Frenzy Panda, and I'll have my panda attack your face down. Well, with 1200 attack, you're running into One-Eyed Shield Dragon. It is a wind monster, so that means it's gonna be destroyed. If I could get over 16, I'd be winning this game, but I can't, so I'll pass. I'm gonna draw for turn. We're gonna equip Green Phantom King with Vile Germ. For now, I'm going to end my turn. Then I'll, I'll take draw. my chances. I'll set a card phase down and end my turn. We don't have any spell and trap removal, so why not? I draw a duelist. I normal summon Beaver Warrior. That the is... forest uh, aligned monster. That is certainly forest. We're gonna enter the battle phase and attack your Tyone. He'll destroy it automatically. Here, move duelist. Draw for turn. I think it's about time I got some damage in again, huh? Because I finally drew a fire in Fire Yaro. Oh, geez, not Plus my 1300. Day. So you know, we're gonna go ahead and flip summon the Tripwire Beast. Okay, it's a thunder me. monster. Fire Yaro, attack your Phantom King, and my fire alignment will immediately destroy it. Goodbye, Green Phantom King, it was fun. Now suicide Tripwire Beast into your Beaver Warrior. And then Frenzy Panda will hit you for 1200. I'll end my turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. Normal summon the Mammoth Graveyard. We're gonna attack your Frenzy Panda. And Mammoth Graveyard, I believe, is a shadow. shadow. So it doesn't interact with any of the monsters you have in the field right now. But we will both be destroyed. We'll just both be destroyed. All right, your move, Duel. Draw for turn. Yeah, you're on the back foot now. Let's normal summon the Fiend Reflection number two, a dream monster. And my Fiend Reflection hit will hit you for 1,100. And Fire Yaru for 1,300 more. And I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll set a monster and pass. Draw. Do we just bring this game to an end? Let's summon the Skull Red Bird. Okay, now what is Skull Red Bird? Wind. Skull Red will attack. 1550. Don't be Earth. I mean, it's don't be Forest. My Earth Giant Soldier of Stones. I believe it'll be automatically destroyed. Yes. Fiend Reflection attacks for 1100. And Fire Yaro attacks for 1300. Now then, my turn. I draw. Since I have the requisite monsters in my hand, I'll conduct a fusion summon. <laughs> using my Fire Grass and my Petite Dragon. Oh my god. With these rules, I can send them both to the graveyard. Oh no. To make the Dark Fire Dragon. It is Fire Aligned, I believe. I think so. It's I think, Fire I think Aligned, it's fire. Okay. yes, okay. It's Beat weaker than Skull Red Bird. Yeah, it's weaker than Skull Red Bird, so. <laughs> I'm gonna give my Dark Fire Dragon the Dragon Treasure. Dark Fire Dragon, attack Fire Yard. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down, switch my Fiend Reflection to defense position, but Skull Red Bird's gonna attack your face down. My Maneater Bug, Woo! which is actually your Skull Red Bird's weakness. And I'm gonna use Maneater Bug's effect to destroy your face <laughs> oh, down no! monster. It's flip effect. It went so wrong. <laughs> What's getting destroyed, Duelist? My Petite Angel at Skull Red. This is the battle. Yeah, so Maneater Bug actually sticks around. Oh, forest monsters. Yeah, for ah. some reason, Maneater Bug beats a bird. This whole duel has just turned. <laughs> All right, I pass. My draw duelist. We're gonna use Darkfire Dragon and attack your Fiend Reflection. I'll set something face down and end my turn. I will set a monster face down and end my turn. I'll draw. I'm going to tribute my Maneater Bug for the Succubus Knight. Woo! It's a shadow monster with 1650 attack points. Succubus Knight attack your face down, monster. Green Phantom King. That okay. only has 1600. 
Now I'm going to attack you directly with Dark Fire Dragon for 1800. Have to take it. Your move. Draw. I normally wouldn't be able to out this, but I do have my mystical sheep, a okay. dream monster. Oh no, dream beat shadow. That's right, so I'll attack your succubus knight. Oh, succubus knights destroy it automatically. Now then, my turn. Draw for turn. Unfortunate, but it'll just have to do. Dark fire dragon with 1800 is gonna attack your mystical sheep number two. I'll take 1000 damage. Your move, boys. Draw for turn. Who normal summon skull red bird, and I'll have it attack your face down. You attacked my Hane Hane, which will return it to the hand and then be destroyed. All right, gotta end my turn. I draw for mine. I'm going to equip my Dark Fire Dragon with another Dragon Treasure. What is because this? Because why not? Dark Fire Dragon attack directly for 2100. I gotta take it. We're just gonna set a card face down in my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon Skull Red Bird. Okay. It's attacking your face now. You attacked Green Phantom oh, King. Oh no! A forest monster with 1600. Your monster is destroyed. If you can't protect yourself, then you'll be defeated next turn by my two monsters. I really didn't want to have to do this. I'll do a fusion summon. Firegrass and Petite Dragon. Oh, you wait, you have the same thing? Yeah, but it's weaker. My Dark Fire Dragon. I'm surprised you didn't make that earlier. That's a fire monster, right? Yeah, but it doesn't- oh, I guess you didn't know about Green Phantom King yet. Okay. I didn't, I didn't have a way of winning with it was the problem. Pass. I draw. I normal summon the Witty Phantom in attack mode. Witty Phantom? My Dark Fire Dragon will attack your Dark Fire Dragon. Then I'm going to attack with the Witty Phantom for 1400. That's going to end my turn, Duelist. My Green draw. Phantom King wouldn't have been enough to actually kill you, so it's staying in defense mode. See, the thing is, I drew the best card in my deck. The Monster Reborn! I will special summon the only wa water in my grave, oh, Turtle, the Turtle Tiger. Tiger! from the first turn. Normal summon, Dark King of the Abyss. What is that? It's a fiend monster. It's fiend, a fiend alignment. It's okay, a fiend type and I'm and also a fiend alignment. Fiend. Okay. And I reveal dark energy and Ooh. equip it to him. Turtle Tiger, attack his dark fire dragon. Water beats fire. Yes, yes it does, Duelist, yes it does. And my Dark King with 1500 can attack your witty phantom. Think long and hard about your next play because I activate Final Flame, where I inflict 600 damage to your life points. I'll end my turn. I draw. I normal summon my witty phantom, and I'll equip him with the dark energy. What is happening? And that means that I could just attack your tiger king and win this duel. That's true. I will, like, my turtle tiger. Doesn't but just to make it. things a little more exciting for the viewers at home, we're going to attack dark king of the abyss. <laughs> your move. Do you have a light monster to save you? Draw! <laughs> I actually do have a light monster to deal with your witty phantom. Do you? Well, let's just see what it is. But where's the sport in using alignment to win here? I will fuse my Masaki the Legendary Swordsman and Flame Manipulator to make the Flame Swordsman. And we're gonna go ahead and switch this Turtle Tiger to defense mode. Ah, I lost it. Switch him to defense mode. Flame Swordsman, attack witty phantom. And I'll end my turn. I draw. We'll set this card face down and end my turn. Draw! I will. Do it for the camera. Tribute my turtle tiger and set a card. Oh, and set a card, okay. Enter battle. Battle injured. Flame swordsman attack phantom king and I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. I'll set a card face down and enter battle. Battle entered. Flame swordsman attack. You attack. Spirit of the Heart. With 2,000 defense, you'll take oh 200 gosh. damage. I pass. I draw. I'll end my turn. Draw. Oh. I will also end my turn. I draw. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. Draw. What is this again? Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I flip summon Reaper of the Cards. Oh, boy. Okay. So I can target a trap card you control, and if it's face down, we reveal it. And if it is a trap, it is destroyed. It is my two-pronged attack. Aha! I planned to save myself with it. Flame Swordsman, attack! You attacked my Tripwire Beast. I will set a monster face down and end my turn. I draw. What affinity is Reaper of the Cards? Reaper is a fiend. I'll risk it all in this final play. Bring it on. I tribute Spirit of the Heart for Succubus Knight. I'm going to attack Reaper of the Cards. You know I can't let that through. 
No, I can't do it. I activate two-pronged attack. Okay. So I have to destroy two of my monsters to destroy one of yours. I'll destroy my Reaper and my face down. Honey, honey. Oh, my succubus night. night. That's what I needed to win. Good game, duelist. <laughs> oh, well played. Yes. I was all I was just betting it all, betting it all on that face down card Ooh. being a bluff. Oh, I shouldn't have given you the extra turn. It Is this what I get for uh, for my hubris? It's okay though. Maybe if you guys like this video, maybe we continue the series. Yeah, I think this was a lot of fun. Let us know how you felt about it. It certainly did feel a little bit more like playing the old retro sort of Game Boy and like PS1 games where your monsters kind of just do things you don't expect them to and suddenly they're actually useful just because. All in all, I definitely think this is really cool. I wish that there was a way to kind of play this in the modern day and just quickly and easily know the monster's affinities. Right. Or in a just, weird way, you'd wish you could just replace the like Yeah, I wish I could just replace the attribute with like, oh, okay, just there's sort of an elemental table and it just worked. But either way, this was fun. Hopefully it was somewhat easy to follow. Who knows? If not, we can always find all sorts of other things to do with That's these retro old sets. So we can try something else. We'll see you guys in the next one. Past, Past turn. turn.